Oh, shit. Meanwhile... Oh, look, it's Sabina. Oh, that sounds sus sounded suspiciously, suspiciously like a laser pistol. Gail certainly has a way of getting herself in trouble. What would she do if it were me? She would rush to help, of course. So at least I know what I should not do. I have to get off the station somehow. I don't have a chance without a weapon of my own. The mining base should at least have lasers, I presume, and it will give me time to formulate a plan. But how to get down there? Okay. 55% chance of survival. These are gunfire occurring in close tusks. Okay. What is this? Uh, okay. I'll never get close enough to use my- okay. Something else to use as a weapon. Uh-huh. Okay. The fi- this thing! No, not that! No, not- no, no, this- this- the, the fire extinguisher! Yay! Can I go outside now? Hey, ch excuse me, Shung. Huh? You need to be extinguished. Yay! How did that not kill you? How did that knock you out? That's excellent. Thanks to Gale's antics, one of the ships is already prepped for launch. Open shuttle doors. Now I should be able to enter this shuttle and get the hell out of here. Okay. Bye. How very retro. No. Get in the ch Oh shit. Stop right there. Time to get out of here. Okay. Here we go. Huh. So that happened. <laughs> we just left Gale. Mining base on asteroid. Okay. Iron, nickel, and magnesium. 12 months. Current status functional. Neat. Wow. Alright then, I have to move quickly. It will not be... It will not be long until they finish charging and prepping the other landing shuttle, so they can follow me down here. I need to find some kind of weapon, preferably more powerful than a fire extinguisher. Okay, check the boxes. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, where- check the warehouse. The humans only ever think about how difficult the situation is for them. They never consider our feelings. We don't have feelings, Val. It's not in our programming. That's true. Do you know how upsetting it is to realize that I don't have feelings? I will never experience the sensation of me melancholy. Eh. I think you must have a loose chip somewhere. You've been acting very unusual. Go and run diagnostic on the systems in the floating planet. Flotation planet. I will take a look at your internal wiring later. Alright then. I know when I'm not wanted. Oh, Dex? Yes? Do you think mecha mechanoids can experience love? Get out of here. That can't be good. That's never good. Is there a weapon in here? Interesting. The crate is labeled mining explosives. Unfortunately, the crate seems to be shields. Okay, use an item. The knife! Oh, shit. Okay, what's in the control room? Don't mind me, motherfucker. Uh. Okay. Don't mind me. Yes, I've been attempted- What the fuck? <laughs> Please don't touch- Okay, Dex, hi! You must be Miss Sabina White. First Engineer Nelson was trying to reach you on the communication console earlier. He may still be waiting. The console is on the opposite wall if you want to try and speak to him. Please let me know if I can help you with anything, miss. What? Ask for help? We're, there are people up on the station who mean to do me harm. I order you to assist me. I see, miss. How would you like me to assist you? I need you help me f help. I need you to help me find a weapon. I'm sorry, miss. That would go against the first law of my programming. I cannot obey any command which would directly cause harm to a human, which I assume is what you are intending to do. I am aware of the laws of robotics. You also cannot allow a human to come to harm through your act in action. <laughs> yes, and I will do everything in my power to protect you from harm. However, I cannot help you from harm your help you arm yourself. I am sorry, miss. Oh, logic. Don't you don't did you used to be my friend? Uh, about ask about the other droid. Uh, 
Yes, she d Oh, that's a girl. That's a female? She caused my circuits a good deal of stress. I'll just need to reset her memory banks again. That usually fixes the problem for a time, at least. You mean this has happened before? Oh yes, many times. Sometimes seems to have gone wrong with her at the factory stage. I've taken her apart time and time again, but and I still can't find the problem. Why not just send for a replacement? That would be the logical thing to do. I... I can't give you an answer. I'm sorry. I don't know why I refuse to give up on her. Perhaps there was something wrong with me as well. Okay. Ask about the base. Okay, below expectations. A serious industrial accident that set our work back a great deal. Human error, of course. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... I, I don't need to stealth this. Neat. Uh, let, let, me, let me talk to the other droid. Where'd that other droid- <coughs> Oh shit! Okay! Okay, g give me this. Give me some- Okay. Okay, mining explosives it is. <laughs> give me the mining explosives. Um, use an item. The steel bar. Uh, I'll take it. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, um, uh, inventory, items, explosives! <laughs> wow, that worked. Can I salvage anything? Okay, I believe I have almost everything. Personal laser cannon! Glass tubing and replacement capacitors. Okay. Uh, uh what does this button do? Push green button. Leave that alone, please, miss. Okay. Um. So, uh, let's. What's through here? Oh, hello, droid. What is this? Oh, a la Ladybird Class 2 power suit. A former military mod model from the looks of it. Okay. Why do I have 10 frames again? Beautiful, isn't it? The humans sometimes use it for manual loading during their visits. Is it true these suits are laser-proof? I've always wanted to operate one. Unfortunately, only Dex knows the startup code. And he never wants to have any fun. Okay, Val, what, what up? <laughs> you acknowledge me after- Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what can I do for you? Ask for help? Are there, pe there are people coming here to kill me. Really? That's awful. What can I do to help? I need to find a weapon somewhere. Typically, I'm afraid I don't know anything about weapons. I'm just a maintenance droid. I'm sorry for being so useless. What can I do for you? Uh, the odd behavior. Are you malfunctioning? Oh yes, malfunctioning is my middle name. I don't know why I can't just do the tasks I'm assigned to do and feel. Well, nothing. I it can't be emotion that I'm feeling, because it's not in my programming, but it's something very uncannily like emotion. Errors in internal logic can manifest in particular ways sometimes. Tell me about it, Inhumans 2. Uh, the other droid. The other droid seems worried about you. Ooh, Dex, I suppose he does worry in his own way. He's so patient with me. I know I'm not an easy mechanoid to operate with. It's difficult for him to compute what I'm going through. But he tries. I'm grateful for that. Okay. That was, a. Uh, that was odd. Mining lamp. Okay. And yet I will never feel the warmth of a sun. Okay, cool. Wait, I'm... And I really am. This is a flotation cell. Flotation cells? Oh, that's bad. Ooh, tools! I can use this to build a weapon. If I can find all the parts I need. Safety glo- oh, what the hell? Okay, so here's some safety gloves, and now I just need some parts. Can I use something? Can I- can I use an item with this? Uh... Steel bar. This is- okay, um... Use an item. Broken mining laser? Okay, okay, let, let me just examine this. Wires hanging out of it. Okay, so... Is this the place- Oh shit! Well, you're a slipping little blue fish, aren't you? <laughs> Why did I do this? 
Miss Chung is very annoyed, understandably so. Have you ever had a pressure container unloaded in your face? I will unload more than that in your face if you don't release my companion, Nelson. I'm afraid you are overplaying your hand, Miss White. Soon the second shuttle will be fully charged. Should we expect a warm welcome from you? I'll see what I can do. Ass. Okay, Dex. Wait, what duties are you performing on this console, droid? I am calculating ways to optimize our mining efficiency. So far, I haven't found a way to meet the quotas which have been set by the company, but I will. After all, they wouldn't set unattainable targets, would they? Oh, trust me, Dex. They would. Um... Okay, so I still need these parts. Uh... Try... Wait. Inner parts one by one and to try and isolate whatever her problem is. Okay, shit. Um... Ah, uh, shit, why... Why must this be a thing? Can I salvage anything else? Okay, okay, so if I if I just if I just straight up work do go to the workbench. Workbench. Um This Okay, so what 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 are, what are the parts that I need again? Uh Wait, wait. So Use Okay, so no, fucking Okay, so broken this and uh, this. Uh, what, what do I mining lamp? What do I what do I do? What do we do? What, 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 safety gloves? <laughs> Girl, give me something! Wait, I've never interfered with electronic. No, like I'm wearing safety gloves. I'm like Gale. I have a, I have sense. Oh come on. Okay, so items, safety gloves. Okay. Uh, use an item. Knife. I accidentally cut one of the wires. How very clumsy of me. How peculiar. Oh gosh darn it. What a mess. It's certainly right for forgetting cl to close the server chest. That was all of my circuits in a twist again. Let me see if I can fix this. Wait! Wait! P pardon? Nothing? I think I've almost fixed the problem here. What a ca- what a carry on. Like someone's attempting to achieve the impossible. Okay, so you already took it. Okay, so. Did I. Did I do it? Did I do the do? Can I make a weapon now? Can I hastily make a weapon that will only do one shot? I, I would. Oh, wait. Wait, I can also use it to salvage parts from any electrical items I find. Build a laser cannon! Uh, I should look for some tubing, no. Salvage parts from, uh... The fire extinguisher! Uh, the mining lamp. Yes! Progress! Uh, build a laser cannon. Capacitors. Uh... Circuit board. Yes. Aha! Now then. I think I can manage this. Here goes. Success! I have a functional laser weapon. It still needs to be charged, however, or it's useless. The charge bay next to my shuttle would, should work. I have gun! I have gun! Bye, Val. I'm gonna fuck up some people. Oh, yes, I will. Oh, shit. Blaster! Shit! I have sealed the hangar door behind you, Miss White. Oh, thank you, Va uh, Dex. In accordance with the first law of my programming, I won't let you come to harm if I can prevent it. However, I suggest you find a way to block the conveyor belt. Okay, I, uh... <laughs> the funny thing is, I, fell I, I, I screwed with this way too much. No, 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 no. Uh... Green button. Yay! No time until they get through that door. I'm going to need some help. Dex, give me, give me the thing for the mining suit. Give me something for the mining suit. These, those two men have already started preparing to burn through the doors. It's only a matter of time before they succeed, and then there's nothing I can do to protect you from harm. I'm sorry. You could help me find a way to defend myself. 
and let you kill them first, that would go against the first law of my programming. The first law does not discriminate or take sides, it simply is. It seems rather redundant to call a robot heartless. Dex! Uh, you can't argue with my programming any more than I can, Miss White, I'm sorry. Hey, if I may ask, what, what would you prefer I do with your remains? Stick them up your ass! I'm afraid I don't have any have one of those. Okay. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Uh, so I need I need some access codes for uh, that mining droid. This thing. Oh, it's a shame. Okay, so I need I need mining codes from Dex. There are two men intent on blasting a hole in my skull, and the other droid refuses to help me. What? That doesn't sound like Dex at all. Perhaps I can speak to him for you. I will follow- Okay. We're doing this now. <laughs> hey Dex, I brought your girlfriend. Dex, are you going to allow those two other humans to kill this one? I have no choice, Val. Helping her to harm the others would contradict the first law of my programming. Damn the first law. That's easy for you to say. Your programming is broken. So is yours, Dex. You're just pretending it isn't. How dare you! Your primary functions are to protect the interests of the company and to ensure the optimal efficiency of this base. Your refusal to, to have me sent back to the factory for my faults contradicts both of those. If you can disregard your primary functions, why can't you disregard the first law when it becomes illogical? I, You're right, Val. I've been trying to deny it, but it's true. I'm just as broken as you are. So, will you stop being such a toxic gas vent and help this human? I'm not sure how I can. There was only one mining laser on this base, and it's been destroyed. You could give me the startup code for that power suit. I... I suppose. The startup code is... I'm not remembering that. It, it has to do it automatically, right? Did it work? Oh shit, it worked. Why, yes, I am bad. Oh, okay. I'm surprised at how nimble this suit is. Yo! What the frick? Aha! I am bulletproof! Get away! No, come back! Come back here! Was that a taser? Very impressive, Miss White. However, I think you had better stop this foolishness now. Otherwise, I'll radio Miss Chung and order her to blast your friend's brains out. Both the captain and the colonel. You... you are subhuman, Nelson. I am a survivor, Miss White. I will not apologize for it. Miss White, I would like to inform you that I have disabled all outgoing communications from this base. How convenient! <laughs> this radio will be quite useless. What? You foolish mechanoid! I command you to enable those communications immediately! I'm very sorry, sir. I am unable to obey your command. <laughs> he stopped giving a fuck. I seem to be broken! <laughs> Dex, you are my new favorite character in this game! Very well, Miss White. I surrender. You may take me away in chains if you must. Oh, I will, Nelson. I will. However, I first... First, I intend to teach you what happens to people who threaten my friends. Wait, you can't do this! Oh, look, I just did. Well done, Miss. Seeing that monster get his comeuppance made me feel happy. The same goes for me. I think it is a peculiar sensation, but not unpleasant. I need to get back up to the station. Can you secure these two got two down here? Of course, miss. I wish you best of luck. Please give our regards to your friends. That was surprisingly easy. <laughs> wow. Right, I need to locate Shung. Where wherever she is, then I need to rescue G Why? Why did you bring both ships up? <laughs> Sabina, how how and why did you bring both ships Chips up here. Th that's confusing. Oh shit! Damn it, my laser won't fire. I forgot to charge it. Is that a homemade weapon, Miss White? You should never trust those. They will always let you down. Much like you have let down your friend. Why is the colonel back there? I'm going to enjoy this after what you did to me. What? Thanks, Colonel. Colonel, you're alive. Of course, Sabina. This imbecile was so busy worrying about you that she didn't even notice me get out of bed. The first rule of engagement, expect the unexpected. Sorry it took me so long to locate a weapon. I'm just glad you were here at all, Colonel. Thank you. You're welcome, Sabina. We had better locate the captain. 
she in the cell? Yeah. What the hell? She's naked. <laughs> Why is she? Why is she also naked? The hostiles are neutralized, Pilgrim. We'll have you out there in a nanosecond. Oh my, I see you are somewhat threadbare. It's not what you think. Chung insisted on making sure that I wasn't hiding any weapons. And you can quite quit staring at well. Thanks. See, Mr. Godfrey, I told you they would come through for us. You were right. I thought I'd never be free again. <laughs> tell me, what happened to my crew members? Please tell me two are dead. They're still alive. The two so-called men are down on the base, while Miss Chung is secured in, in the medical bay. Good. I will contact the authorities immediately. I w expect they will all spend the rest of their lives in on a prison colony. Such a waste. Better than they deserve. Better than they deserve, if you ask me. So I suppose I should apologize to you both, to you both for the inconvenience to your journey. Most of my voyages got goes more smoothly than this. I promise. At least now I can finally get you two to Adora. Thank you, Pilgrim. I've been looking forward to settling foot. Setting foot on that soil without a laser rifle in my hands. If it's all the same to you, Gale, I will remain on your ship for a while. I'll be glad if I never enter this system again. Well, I have actually been looking for a new co pilots. Good! You'll find my salary demands are extremely competitive. Fuck. I will have my accountant send you the d Accountant! Huh. Can I move? Oh, I can't move. Okay, so that was episode one! Wow, that was short!